In this video, I'm going to walk through a demonstration of the Quest Trade online brokerage platform on my desktop, and I'm going to show you what it looks like in their mobile app as well. Let's dive into it. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Mediocre Money. This is my YouTube channel, all about personal finances, going over advice, research, strategies, platforms, helping you become financially independent. And today's video was requested after my last video, which was diving into the pros and cons of Quest Trade. So if you want to see that video and me talking about the pros and cons of it, click the little I button right up in this corner and it will take you to my video that I did last week on the pros and cons of Quest Trade. All right, so I'm going to start off by logging into my Quest Trade account here. So when I log in, so the first half of this video is going to be walking you guys through what the Quest Trade account looks like on your laptop. And then the second half of this video is going to walk you guys through what it looks like on your mobile phone or in the app. So I'm started off, I logged into Quest Trade here. This is what it looks like when you initially come onto Quest Trade. So you can see just at the top here, you have your accounts, summary reports, account management, funding requests. So you can kind of control everything needed for your investments all at this top bar here. Uh, you can open up new accounts, you can transfer over current accounts, uh, everything can be controlled in there. So you can see the accounts that I have here. Um, obviously these account numbers are not real. My account numbers are not one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I just doing that for security reasons, but you can see that under new accounts, I have the individual margin accounts. This is an account that I'm in the process of setting up right now. I've submitted all of my documents to it. I filled out their application form. It was very easy. And now the only thing left I have to do is just fund my margin account with a thousand dollars. Personally, I'm waiting on funding my margin account because I still have to max out my TFSA before I think about investing within a margin account. So first things first, or TFSA account. So you can see here is my TFA, TFSA account. This is my RRSP or just RSP. Both of my accounts with Quest Trade are fully self-directed. However, you can also get accounts that are Quest Trade portfolio accounts and their management fees, I think are 0.25% for Quest Trade portfolios. And those are awesome portfolios too. Uh, very low management fees and extremely well as far as uh, the diversity of the portfolios that they have. They have income portfolios, growth portfolios, which are 100% stocks. Um, it's just a really good managed portfolios for you guys. So if you're interested in that, it is a robo advisor, I guess, as a portfolio because it's all done automatically. So it's an ETF essentially. Uh, but I highly recommend Quest Trades portfolios if you don't really care about trying to do all your own buying and selling of index funds and ETFs or stocks, whatever you are interested in buying and selling. So for the easiest possible solution, go for Quest Trade portfolios. Uh, for myself personally, I like to do self-directed probably because you know I'm a young man and think I can do better than uh, other people can, which is just completely incorrect. But And it probably has somewhere to do with uh, some sort of control psychological thing that's in the back of my head caused from some severe childhood trauma. All right, getting on with it. We're gonna scroll down here. So you can see all of my accounts that I have here, my self-directed accounts. Uh, this button, add a new account. So you can see down below, after you go through the accounts, you have any transfers that come in. So I have a transfer in progress right now, uh, transferring from TD to my Quest Trade TFSA account. So I'm just trying to move some of my funds from TD over to Quest Trade because Quest Trade just has lower fees and it, I just like using it better than TD. And plus you can buy all ETFs for free. I, although I have been charged a couple times with ETFs, with Quest Trade, but most of them are available for free on Quest Trade, which is awesome to be able to buy and sell ETFs for free, or sorry, buy ETFs for free. Uh, I think selling you might get charged, but regardless, it's cheaper than TD, way cheaper than TD. So that's why I'm transferring money from TD to Quest Trade. So then I'm gonna open up uh, my TFSA account. So this is what my TFSA account looks like on the desktop. So you can see up at the top here, I have both currencies of Canadian and US dollars, and I have some cash sitting around in both of them. Um, I have been sitting on some cash for a while now, waiting for this market downturn. So this is uh, kind of my opportunity. Uh, while I'm filming this video, this is during the COVID-19 downturn. So I'm waiting right now on uh, potentially buying some very, very low cost uh, ETFs. So I'm kind of waiting around for that right now. So that's why I have so much cash available, uh, not a lot invested right now. 
Um, however, this is what it looks like. You can set your account to hold the money that your trades were in, or you can set it to automatically go to Canadian currencies or US currencies. Um, I set my account to hold whatever currency the trades happened in. So if I bought US uh, stocks or US funds and I sell them, then I get US dollars back and vice versa with Canadian dollars. So I really like the flexibility of that. With my TD investment account, I have like two different accounts. I can't hold two currencies in one account. So I really like that with Quest Trade. So this is what my account looks like. You can see right here, this is the, the split, the percentage split of how much you have in cash. So I have about 64% in cash, um, ETFs about 24%, and then a little bit of stocks. Yeah, and then if, as you scroll down below, you can see all your investment types. You can see how much it cost you, what the current market price is, uh, what the current value is, your profit and loss on it, uh, your return on it, <clears throat> your percent return on it, and the percentage of your portfolio that it makes up. So that's what the accounts look like. And if you go up here and click the trade button, this is your opportunity to trade stocks. So this is what the, the trading platform looks like. If you know what you want right away, you can go over to the order entry and you can look up your stock, VFV. So stocks and ETFs and um, any sort of index funds, those are all under stocks. The other OPT, that means options, uh, that's for more advanced people that want to trade options, which um, I'm not going to get into in this video. So this is how you would place an order. You would go to your order entry, you'd type in the stock you're looking for, VFV, Vanguard's S&P 500 index fund, you place how many you want, uh, you say what you want a limit or a market. Um, I usually do limit orders and I set it to a price that's roughly around the current uh, asking price and then you can buy that stock. So a limit price means that uh, it won't, you won't buy unless it is uh, at or below whatever limit you set it to. Or a limit price when you sell is it won't sell unless it is at or above whatever price you set it to. And then a market order, all that a market order means is that it'll buy the shares at whatever price, it doesn't care, it's just gonna buy them as fast as it can for you. So that's what a market order is. Uh, and you have other different types of orders too, which I'm not gonna go into in this video, but those are the two main types of orders. And you can set how long you want your order to be available for. And then you just click buy or you click sell, and then your order will be in. Uh, I'm not gonna buy anything right now, but uh, that's how easy it is. And when you click buy, it'll actually pop up with a notification to let you know how much you will be charged, if anything, as far as buying and selling fees. Uh, so all of that is upfront and clear about how much you're gonna be charged to buy it and um, also how much stocks you're anticipating and getting as well. Or sorry, how much value you're anticipating of spending. And then it'll also warn you if you're spending over the amount that you have in it, it won't let you buy it. So that's what it looks like in the trading platform of it. And now I'm gonna hop over and go onto my phone and I'm gonna show you guys what the Quest Trade app looks like. All right, everyone, I got some good news and some bad news. The, the bad news is that I couldn't record me going through my Quest Trade app. Well, I did record, record it, but it's all black. So Quest Trade actually has these built-in security features in their mobile app that doesn't allow you to take screenshots and it doesn't allow you to record the app. So that's a really good thing as far as security goes. However, it won't allow me to give you guys a demonstration. So because of that, uh, I just recommend you download the app yourself. You can get a free trial account and just test it out and see if you like it. And if you like this video, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel and joining the community of other Canadians and Americans that are trying to achieve financial independence. And if you have any suggestions for what you'd like to see from my channel, please let me know in the comments below. And in the comments below, I've also pinned a link for Quest Trade that will give you $50 of free trades. So even though you can already buy ETFs for free, uh, if you want to buy stocks, you can buy those for free as well, up to $50 spent on that. So go ahead, click that link, subscribe to my YouTube channel, give it a thumbs up too, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.